and open up my layers so that we can see what's going on here. All we have is this background layer. So at this point, we're going to do something that's going to change that. We're going to go to Select, Refine Edge. And what it's going to do is show you what you have selected right now. So we have this girl selected and um, you'll notice a few things. First of all that we have some areas that uh, we didn't get all the green out of. We wanted to fix that. And then also that the edge is just very rough. You can see the pixels around the edge. Um, there's still a bit of green showing and it's just kind of unpolished. So we're going to do a few things. First of all, we're going to check Smart Radius. We're going to turn the radius up somewhere in between 1 and 2. And then we're going to turn up our Smooth somewhere, oh, in between 5 and 10 maybe. You'll notice that this edge is starting to get a little bit softer. Let's turn Feather up in between 1 and 2. And then lastly, we're going to check this decontaminate colors. This one's really important, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Now we're going to work on some of those areas where we still have some green showing, and some of those areas where we want to maybe add a little bit of information. So let's click in here, click and drag, and you'll notice that it gets a little bit lighter areas like this you may have to come back later just get it covered now when I go around her hair you'll notice that it is making it look kind of transparent and that's really okay the idea here is to kind of catch some of those flyaways and to soften the edge of the hair so let's go in between here that works really nicely right there and let's go around the edge up top and for this image it should work quite well because of the green screen being there um, and because we don't have a whole lot of um, extra information that we're trying to grab in other words she has a few flyaways but she doesn't have like really curly hair that's like going out all the way over here that we're trying to catch um, so it's working pretty well for us. Let's just make sure we don't have any hair over here. And that looks pretty good. Come down in here and see if we can pull some of this out. And we have a little bit of green showing in between the legs. And we've lost some information on the shoe, which we may have to get back later. But we'll try here. Find out if it's going to work for us. And there it looks like it actually took out more information than I wanted to. It really doesn't look very good. So if you've gone too far in an area, you can click this button here, click and hold, and you'll see that we have Refine Radius Tool checked. So we're going to Erase Refinements, and we'll just go back over this area, and it just erases out what we just did. So we'll not worry about the feet, and we'll come back and fix that when we're finished. Now, I said that decontaminate colors was really important. The reason why is because now that we have this checked, watch the layers as I click OK. It has added a new layer, and that's entirely because of that decontaminate colors. It adds this layer. It adds the copy of the layer and a layer mask and this is why or this is how you can come back and refine the edge again of your selection.